This is Royal Manchester Children's Hospital, where staff treat over 100,000 patients every year. Coming up, 19-month-old Lily needs major surgery to reshape her skull. Just one operation will change a life forever. 10-year-old Paul hops into A&E. And 8-year-old Jack Norfolk meets his heroes from Manchester City. Yeah, I you what. And finds out if he has to have yet another operation. Wow. Nineteen month old Lily is about to undergo major surgery. It's an operation that nobody wants to put her through, but it could change her life. Hello. I'm gonna kiss a mirror. Ah, oh, beautiful. Lily's having fun with her mum and dad, Kerry and Dave, in the hospital's multi-sensory room. <coughs> Lily is very happy all yeah, the time. Very funny. She's very cheeky. But minutes after Lily was born. Her mum and dad knew something was wrong with the way she looked. When they placed her on me, I just noticed that she looked different. Her head was very pointed at the front. And I just felt, what's wrong with her? Why doesn't she look like other babies? Why didn't she look normal? We thought it was just the way that she came out and just thought it'd get better. But as Lily got older, her misshapen head showed no signs of improving. We were told that everything was OK, but I knew deep down that there was something wrong. And I wanted to know what it was and why. Desperate for a diagnosis, Kerry and Dave brought Lily to the Children's Hospital, home to one of the largest paediatric neurosurgical units in the country. With 25 years' experience, neurosurgeon James Leggett knew exactly what the problem was. Lily has the classic head shape of someone with what we call trigonocephaly. What we can see is this very prominent prow, like the bow of a ship, and this ridge that runs forwards where the front of the skull has fused prematurely. Normally, the cranial plates in babies' skulls remain separate long enough to leave room for the growing brain, but one of Lily's fused too early while she was developing in the womb. This distorted her skull, and now she needs an operation to totally reshape her head. If she continues without surgery, the abnormal head shape will become fixed and become more prominent. No, she's got a, a severe deformity and it needs to be dealt with. Hello. How are you? But this is major surgery, which will involve removing and remodelling a large block of Lily's skull. So we're going to do a little zigzag incision. We just crease the head out. Hello, you. You OK? Putting Lily through such an extensive operation has been a nerve-wracking decision for her parents. She has to have it. She has to have it for herself. And we know that when she's older, she'll be glad that we went ahead with it. It's just best for Lily. Just that's all. That's all. In a matter of hours, Lily will have an operation that will transform the way she looks and change her life forever. The hospital's A&E department treat children up to the age of 16. Most of them walk in, but not 10-year-old Paul. He's hopped in today with his mum and cousin after hurting his foot. Hi, I'm Alison, one of the doctors. Nice to meet you. Hiya. You all right, Paul? He's being seen by one of the newcomers to the department, Dr Alistair Hayes. That's fantastic. Put your feet down this side for us and we'll just put the back up. So, what's been happening, Paul? I was walking down the stairs and my sister shouted me what do I want for dinner and it got me distracted and I fell down. And how many stairs have you fallen down? About... Four, three. Three or four. And how have you landed? My ankle twisted that way and my toes bent. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay, dokie. So I'm just going to touch your foot very gently. How many times it hurts on us? Yeah. Okay. Ah. It's a bit sore. I'm really yeah. sorry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to get an x ray of your ankle to make sure you haven't done any damage there. Yeah. And also some x rays just 
at the top of your toes just to make sure that you haven't done any damage there. Okay. All right. So it's a short hop up to X-ray to see if anything's broken. Nice and still. Yep. The results are back, and it's the moment of truth for Paul. <laughs> Foot. All right. So this is looking at your ankle, all right, and this is a little bit of the area where you're a bit sore on the outside of your ankle, okay. And can you see there's a little line just yeah. there? All right. This is what we call a very stable fracture. So what we're going to do is just sort of put some nice support on it that will keep it nice and comfy. Uh, not plaster, it's going to be some like sort of tuber grip. Uh, we'll give you some painkillers to keep you comfortable. Well, uh, no crutches. All right. I'm sorry about that. Um, Why can't I have crutches? Because this is a nice stable fracture and we think it will heal very well on its own, by putting it in plaster all we're doing is immobilising the rest of your leg. So what we need to do is just try and keep the ankle moving as freely as possible without putting extra stress on it and then hopefully in the future you won't have any stiffness there or any problems. Okay. That sound alright? Paul's disappointed he didn't get crutches but Nurse Claire is soon on hand to offer support. Rest, eyes. After the first couple of days, you need to try and walk on it. OK, is that comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. I'll you should on off. All right, Paul. Good, well done. He should be back on his feet in a couple of weeks, but in the meantime, Paul gets a trip on one of the hospital's wheelchairs to cheer him up. Bye. 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 Nineteen-month-old Lily's having a major operation today to remodel her malformed skull. It's been a tough decision to go ahead for her parents, Kerry and Dave. She's our little girl. You don't want her to go for any pain or anything, but it's best for her in the long run. Kill that. Just one operation will change her life forever. So she'll still be gorgeous, though, <laughs> won't you? Right? The operation could take anything up to five hours and involves removing and reshaping the front of Lily's skull. But it's risky surgery that involves operating dangerously close to major blood vessels that surround the brain. Whenever you go into theatre with a small baby, you are millimetres away from disaster. So you're doing something to a child that could make them worse, even though you're striving to make them better. And that's a huge responsibility. Oh, give me the kisses, the cookies. <gasps> no. Very nervous. But it'll improve her life in years to come. Maybe not right now, but it will do. And she's at school and things like that. Come on, then. It's time for Lily's dad to take her down to theatre. I'm very apprehensive. I won't want to leave her there. I know I've got to leave her there, but I won't want to leave her there. So yeah, just total dread. OK, so this is sleeping medicine going in. Thank you. I could feel myself filming up. It's definitely the hardest thing I've had to do as a dad. Definitely. It'll be hours before Kerry and Dave can be reunited with their daughter. But one thing's for sure, Lily will never look the same again. Here at the Royal Manchester Children's Hospital, many of the regular patients find that the hospital is just like a second home. That's certainly the case for eight-year-old Jack Norfolk and his mum, Jenny. We always bump into somebody we know, um, and you just see the same faces, so he's, he's got quite friendly with staff and patients, really. And when we walk through the hospital, people recognise him. My go! My go! My go! Being a regular here means Jack's able to get involved with the special events that the hospital organises. Today, his heroes from Manchester City are opening the rooftop play area that the club has funded. And Jack's making the most of it. Come on, Tempest. I'm getting my ball signed. <laughs> Will you sign my ball? Yeah, I signed you one. Jack's quite the local celebrity, but hospital isn't all fun and games. 
Since birth, he's had a long list of genetic health problems, from bone disease to kidney failure. He's endured an astonishing 22 operations. Last year, he had major surgery to correct the alignment of his hip. The operation went well, but today, Jack and his mum are back at the hospital to discuss another problem. Um, Pain-wise, he's OK. Can we have a little look at your legs? You always say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jack's ankles have never formed properly, and consultant Andrew Henry wants to see if he needs yet another operation. The ankle, it is really very deformed. Basically, that bone there, that bone there, should be underneath that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that bone there should be longer, so it's gradually dislocating upwards. To look at it, it's just the whole architecture of the ankle. The thing is, is to sort that out, what you need to do at this stage is just fuse the ankle. Fusing Jack's ankle now would solve the immediate problem, but fortunately, Mr Henry has a reason to save him from another major operation. Over time, you'll need various surgeries, but if you do the surgery now, you'll stop all the growth and then he'll end up probably with not only a deformed foot, but a shorter leg. I'd aim to keep him going and then do just one bigger surgery. Jack may well need to have surgery on his ankle in the future, but at least for now, he can breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, your socks on. But he's too busy dancing to his own tune to take the news in. Mr Henry said that you don't have to go to theatre. He's just going to keep an eye on your ankle so you don't have to go to theatre. Yay! Mm. Now I'm going to go get some two sausages. That's great news for Jack, who doesn't need another operation just yet. But that's not the case for 19-month-old Lily, who will need major surgery to restructure her misshapen head. Lily's operation could take up to five hours, so it will be a long and anxious wait for her parents, Kerry and Dave. Anything can go wrong, can't it? When the operation's over, you just want to be told it couldn't have gone any better. Just want everything to go perfect. Lily's in the safe hands of neurosurgeon James Leggett and plastic surgeon David Whitby. Together, they've carried out over 150 operations. The operation that we're going to do will involve taking off the block of bone here, and this part will actually be turned around to become the forehead. But this intricate surgery carries huge risks. You have a very important blood vessel which runs down here, and if it's damaged, can lead to damage to the brain, almost like a stroke, and can also lead to fatal bleeding. Every operation we do in neurosurgery is potentially going to damage or maim any child's life. It will be Mr Leggett's job to protect Lily's brain while Mr Whitby reshapes the front of her skull. There are times when you wake up at three in the morning thinking, is this the right thing to do? And that actually is a good sign. You try and plan and anticipate. Ready to start? Mr. Leggett begins by making a careful incision in Lily's hairline. That looks OK. I'm happy with that. Now that her skull is exposed, he can begin the delicate process of removing the misshapen block of bone. This is the bit where we really want to get this block of bone off without damaging anything. You're not in control, are you? Someone else has got It's not us all, one of the families. Someone else has An hour into surgery, the team reached the riskiest part of the operation. They're working dangerously close to a vital blood vessel called the sinus. One wrong move could prove fatal. For any surgeon, it's always a slightly nervous thing. We have to be quite clear. We've got a good clearance of the bone from the actual sinus. Can't wait to see you. Okay, so now I'm happy that I can sweep the sinus off there and there. Good. 
Now the front of the skull is removed and with the sinus safely intact, it's over to plastic surgeon David Whitby. It's his job to create a new flat forehead for Lily. As we put the plates in and start joining the, the bits of the skull back together, the shape of the head will change quite dramatically. And one of the things that we do say when we're talking to the parents is that the child they take down to theatre won't be the same one they pick up. After four hours, the surgery is complete and the long wait for Lily's mum and dad is finally over. Everything went fine, no problems at all. You all right? She needs a cuddle. Mm. Okay. That was a good thing. Really, everything's gone very well. Yeah. Okay, she will look different, but she looks good. I'm going to smack. Lily's operation has been a great success, but it will be a few weeks before her face totally recovers from surgery and the real transformation starts to take place. In A&E, staff see plenty of kids whose imagination gets the better of them. Today, nine-year-old Demi Lee has hurt herself playing horses in the garden. I'm just going to close that back just for a minute. All right, sweetheart. I was playing horses. No, no, no. I was going to jump over the doorstep, but I fell over. Do you want to lie down? Catherine Potier is the most senior doctor in the department today. It's going to take considerable skill to sew up a cut this deep without scaring an already very frightened Demi Lee. Should we try and fix it so that you can go home? Because what we've got is we've got some magic cream. OK. Mm -hmm. So we've got some magic cream that we can put in that for you. And the magic cream will make it all go numb. So you won't feel anything. We'll make it better. We'll stitch it back up together and then you can go home. Yeah, that'll be good, won't it? Once it's completely numb, we can then put stitches in it. Yeah. Without her needing to go to theatre and have a general anaesthetic. Yeah. Is that OK? All right, sorry. Just going to lower you down a bit, chick. <laughs> oh, them tears are going to roll into your ears now. <laughs> Aren't they? Hey? Oh. Okay. Just let open up and walk. Come on. That's it, that's it. He's done now, darling. <laughs> That's it. Good girl. You were dead brave. <laughs> While staff wait for the gel to take effect, Nurse Kerry's got another trick up her sleeve. Do you want to have a go at this magic stuff? Do you want to have a go with this gas? Gas and air will help relieve the pain. Thank you. Right, what you have to do is take really big tummy breaths, OK? Not lift your head One, up That's it. Two, three, four. Five. <laughs> no, it's taking effect. Good stuff. <laughs> Hang on, we might have to stop you doing that. <laughs> Excellent stuff. There we go. Really brave. Good girl. I've got pee How was that? Did Good you feel girl. anything? Yeah, We're superstars. Yeah. You know you'd be this brave. It's been quite an ordeal, but Super thanks to the A and E team, Demi Lee's got through it without too many tears. Yeah. You want to try and smile for us? You're <laughs> laughing your head off when you had that, <laughs> weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Good girl. It's not as good as I thought you would be. Twenty-one-month-old Lily is back at the hospital today, six weeks after having major surgery to reshape her skull. Before, Lily's head was completely misshapen, leaving her with a protruding forehead that would only have got worse over time. Don't form at me. Come on. But now, Lily has been transformed and her parents, Kerry and Dave, can't believe their eyes. <laughs> Before, her forehead was very pointed and now, after a surgery, she looks amazing. Don't you? Hello. For the medical team, neurosurgeon James Leggett and plastic surgeon David Whitby, everything has gone according to plan. You? That's you. So, this was Lily 
back in September last year. That's how she was. The Boeing. So different in the show. It is. It's, she's completely different. Yes, yeah, so different. That it's, you can't imagine her being there as to now. I know. We're happy with what we've achieved. Are you happy with how she looks now? Yeah. And she will, of course, mould, and that skull shape will become more and more normal. Yeah. The thickening here of the soft tissues will get less and less. Yeah, yeah. And you'll find that she'll just go to school as a normal kid. Yeah, all brilliant, right. yeah. So happy. Yeah. Good. Yeah, Delighted brilliant. for you all. Yeah, thank Actually, you. All. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Undoubtedly, we've changed her life. She'll just be one of a normal group of children in the classroom, nobody to single her out, and she'll look just like the other kids. Delighted. You're going to say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Very happy. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. We don't have to worry about anything. She's going to grow up, isn't she, and not, not be bullied or anything. Nothing's going to get in her way. It was the best thing we ever did. We have changed her life, and we know it's for the better, and we know she'll thank us. Such a star, are you? Yeah. It'll take a few more months for Lily's skull to heal completely, but she can now begin the rest of her life with a smile on her face and her head held high.